Hey guys, this is Brandon Paris, and today we have a very long, fun, intense, pumping arm workout for you. This is a focus on arm wrestling. So this is an arm wrestling workout that doesn't require any special equipment. The focus is going to be biceps, forearms, and uh, your grip. And uh, strengthen your fingers and getting you an all-around good uh position so right here we have what i like to start out with which is barbell curls that was 65 now this is 75 and um first set i think was like a 20 this is going to be of 15 and then uh gonna pyramid up and weight and go down in reps and then I actually do drop sets from my top set weight. So here I took off a 5 and I had a 10 to each side. So now this is 85 pounds. And uh, yeah, this was definitely a good workout. Took me about a solid hour to do. Staying busy. We only rest between a minute to a minute and a half between reps or sets not reps and um really got the blood flowing and as you'll see it doesn't take me too long to uh, start sweating and by the end of the video i am just drenched because i am like doing cardio and i'm feeling the pump and uh it's a good workout uh where did i get this i kind of just made this up and just taking information that I've learned from guys like uh, Devin Larratt. And then as far as the grip exercises, I've Googled and found those. And I'll point those out when we get there. Um, yeah, so this is going to be my top set, the heaviest I go. I think I do six reps. Let's see. Nope, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, I did eight or nine reps there. And then that's when I did a pyramid down. So I did that weight again. I gave myself like two minutes to rest. That weight again. And then I immediately took off 10 pounds on each side. Did that as many times as I could. I think was six. And then I took those 10 pounds off on each side. So I just had a 10 on each side. And then I did like 10. And then I took those 10s off. So then I just had the barbell. And I did that like 15 times. Here I'm doing some hammer. Uh pull-ups and I took this off to kind of show you how you could do assisted if you don't know how to do it, it's very simple you just feed it into each other and try to get it to you know get tight at the bottom it didn't really want to work for me it was very sticky this is a good uh, band because it just sticks so what I did is I just put my knee in it and then what to do and then the hammer pull-ups try to do them a little bit more strict first couple i'm just like swinging because uh i'm not used to to the assistance but i'm definitely feeling it in my forearms and biceps a little bit in my back tomorrow i do have uh, squats and deadlifts so it'll be interesting to see how my grip feels tomorrow when i'm doing deadlifts And that's what you don't want to happen. You want to stop doing reps before you lose your grip on the band so it doesn't hit you in the face like it just happened. Here we're just doing alternating uh, bicep curls with a twist. I feel like this really helps the peak of the bicep. really works the forearm because you're rotating the weight as you go up. And uh, just feels good. It's a good solid exercise. Really enjoy this one. Something that I've added recently to my training. I feel like it's made a big, you know, change for the good as far as getting results with uh doing bicep curls and working on my forearms. Because who doesn't want big arms so you can win arm wrestling matches? Because that's what it's all about. The manliest fall sports, some would say. And it's just fun. 
something that my brother got me into and now I've started to train for it and uh I usually just do it like once or twice a week like on an arm day when I'm not doing my powerlifting focused training uh because that's my number one goal right now is just to be the best powerlifter I can I'm actually on a cut as well might be the reason why this workout just absolutely wore me out and I was sweating so badly because I'm on a, like a thousand calorie deficit which is pretty intense for me and I'm actually being pretty strict with this diet trying to track all my macros and definitely staying around the uh you know the max amount of calories I'm supposed to get so uh it's pretty fun and uh, here I did the same thing where I period up in weight and I do have a little bit of a swing but I feel like this just helps me get more blood in my arms and really work the muscles maximize the weight in my hands this is really going to help your grip if you're keeping them straight as you go up as well because you know it's heavier and um, here I think after this set I just gradually go down and wait and I just keep um keep going and uh oh that's not in here either but that, that's something you can do if you want to as well kind of like we do with the barbell sorry I didn't get that on video it's just me being my own camera person it doesn't work out too well here uh, I got this from Devin Larratt this is a, a lighter weight so I'm doing more reps but the idea of this is just to keep your your hand and your elbow in a straight line and to go down with the weight uh, like you would in an arm wrestling match you want to keep that angle with your arm and uh you know force the opponent's hand to your side of the table that way you have control and i'll just go up and wait this might be 50 or 60 pounds here, I'm not sure. But definitely going to do lower reps. At this point in the workout, I'm really feeling the burn. Like, I am really feeling it. It is hard. And I'm like, I don't really want to go anymore. And I hope you can hear these clocks. It's currently 2 o'clock in the morning. And um, we like to know when there's a new hour where I live. So we have a few clocks to remind us that time does keep going on. And that's a, gr a good reminder for everyone. You know, time is the one asset that is all equal, no matter who you are, how good or bad life is. Yeah, I just paused it real quick because the clocks just kept going on and it was a little annoying to me. So here we go. This is going to the heaviest I go. I think this is... uh. 60 or 65 pounds and it was really hard as you could see and i forgot to edit this part of the video but here i do the same thing where i uh i just pyramid down don't take any breaks on my way down and try to get some reps in with some good solid technique but again at this point i am burning my arms are just absolutely on fire so should definitely get stronger from this workout which i'm excited for and um i hope this workout gives you some good ideas if anything you can just follow it um if you're anywhere like me like if you choose challenging weights i'm sure you're going to get a great um you know workout in get some good positive you know, work done towards your arm wrestling goals, if that's something you want, or if you just want to get bigger arms, um, because my arms felt two times bigger than they normally do, uh, so don't laugh at me, because I know they don't look that big, but, uh, I definitely could feel it, hope you enjoy, please give me your feedback and comments, subscribe, like, uh, share with your friends, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you're blessed, and um, I'll talk to you later. Please enjoy the music that follows.
Thank you.